Aman Langwe Etu, power to the people. It's the commonest slogan in South Africa. Everyone's heard it everywhere. The origin, of course, is the Freedom Charter, the people shall govern. But just lately, with the exception perhaps of uh, Secretary General Gwedi Mantash on uh, Wednesday, calling for unity for the sake of unity, in other words, forget about principles, just unite. Apart from that, it's gone beyond in recent weeks, beyond mere rhetoric, which is understandable given the abuse of the Constitution, the use of a parliamentary majority to simply override the Constitution, the lack of consultation, etc. So we have cries now for real, radical, democratic change on a political level. But let us not forget that the union movement was first off the mark in this regard. Uh, in controversial circumstances, the National Union of Metal Workers, for example, was unconstitutionally, I think, expelled from Kosatu over this whole basis as well. And now we have a new federation which should emerge within two weeks, supported by NUMSA. That federation comprises about 20 odd unions, most of them Kosatu breakaways, breakaways from Kosatu. And it, when it is launched, we shall see whether this will give rise perhaps to a new democratic federation or will it just be yet another federation in the same mold? A change of leadership, more radical rhetoric and the usual promises. These sorts of things politicians tend to specialize in. I think if that happens, it'll be very much like moving around the deck chairs on a political and, and labor movement Titanic, both of them running into really severe problems. But everything at the moment is up in the air. However, there is a window of opportunity right across the board and especially in the labor movement with the launch of this new federation and what is going to happen, the impact throughout the labor movement, the different federations, the different unions. It gives a chance to break, the first chance I think, to really break from what is essentially an autocratic past, recent past, a bureaucratic past. It may happen, it may not happen. In the short term, perhaps not. But there's always hope. And with time, education and resultant anger, we could have a break from the past. Well, anyhow, that will be the focus of my Inside Labour column, which you can access on this platform, Fin24, tomorrow, and a version of which will appear in the business section of City Press on Sunday. In the meantime, over to you. Let's hear what you have to say. Comments, criticisms, suggestions about the way forward. We do need to have a way forward, particularly for the whole country, not just the labor movement and politically, economically as well. So let's hear from you. Editor at fin24.com is where you send your comments to. That's editor at fin24.com. And for this week, that's all from me. Cheers.